Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Simple Car Guy channel. If you're anything like me and love to know everything about your car, this video is for you. Today we're going to learn how to get into the hidden menu on the BMW Z4 E89. The first step is to press the start button, get the car into accessory mode. Then we're going to press and hold the trip reset button for a good amount of time. Keep holding. holding all right so now we're in the menu but at this moment the menu is actually locked so what you get is not that much you get a lot a little bit of information kind of different codes data manufacturing and stuff like that but nothing really interesting to unlock the menu we're going to go to menu 1.00 press and hold let go and then start pressing right away and get to 19. Once we're at 19, we have to enter a code. The code's actually going to be the last five digits of your VIN number all added together. So for me, that's gonna be 25. You don't wanna stop, because when you stop, that's when it registers what number it is. 25, let go. There you go, we are now unlocked. Now that the menu is unlocked, we can do some of the more interesting items, such as test the combi or the instrument cluster. So we're gonna press and hold. Go to two, let go. Press once. Now the entire instrument cluster is gonna get tested. As you can see, all of the relays, all the LEDs, everything gets tested. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna press and hold now. Go to menu four. There's nothing on menu three that's interesting. Menu four is your actual fuel consumption. So obviously I'm not driving at the moment, so it's not gonna show anything, but if I were to be driving, uh, it'll actually tell me what it is. And you can see there's uh, your fuel tank and how much you can drive on the fuel that's left in the, in the tank and a lot of other information. I'll include the list for all of the items and what they mean in the description. Menu five is distance consumption uh, in liters, so 12.1 liters per 100 kilometers. Don't really know if that's good or bad, but there it is. Now we'll go to menu number six. So six, let go. So menu number six shows the actual amount of fuel in the tank, so 21.4 uh, liters. 6.1 shows the total amount of fuel in the tanks. And 6.2 shows the ohms of the left and the right tank. So that's what you would see in your um, menu right here in the fuel gauge. Uh, it takes the measurement from both sanders, uh, the left and the right. And if there was any failure, uh, you would see that in here, in here as well. Now we'll go to menu number seven. Menu number seven shows uh, the actual coolant temperature. So that's the actual coolant temperature of my car. I'm in the garage, so hasn't haven't been driving. So obviously it's pretty cold, but this is really, really cool menu to know since uh, if your car starts to overheat or anything like that, uh, you can actually put that on as your menu start driving and you can see as your temperature goes up or down if you're having any issues. 7.1 is just gonna be outside temperature. Um, 7.2 is the revs. I mean, obviously the car is not running, so it's at a minimum, which I think is 240 something. And 7.3 is gonna be your speed. All right, so now we're at menu nine, which shows the actual uh, voltage of the battery on board. So as you can see, mine is um, 11.8. It's because the lights are on and, you know, I'm doing this. All right, the next one we're gonna go to is also very interesting. It's gonna be 13.0, which is the gong test. So let's get to 13, there's 13. And now you just press the button to start the test. So again, that's the blinker, some other noise. There's your gong. So the rest of the menus, 13 through 19, are basically just 
different diagnostic codes, unless you know what those mean, you probably don't need them. 19, of course, we use to unlock the menu. Menu number 20 is one of the more interesting ones. What this translates to is correction factor for fuel consumption. Uh, what that basically means is that if your car shows that you're getting 35 miles to a gallon, but in reality, you're only getting 30 or 25, you can adjust that uh, measurement here so that in the future, your car will actually tell you exactly how many miles you're going to be driving based on your average, uh, you know, drive style. So at the moment, my car has not been adjusted. So as you can see, it's at a thousand. Uh, in order to adjust it, you have to use a formula. I can try just explaining the formula, but I think it'll be a little bit easier if I show you. So let me do that. So here's how you would calculate the compensation numbers. You can uh, pause the video and read that. So I don't have to explain math as I'm not really a math person. But basically, if your consumption is off by, let's say, three miles per gallon, you would do the formula to get the percentage and then either sub subtract that 9.09% or add, uh, depending uh, which way it's showing you incorrectly. Now we'll go back to the menu. Once you're at the menu, you're at uh, menu number 20. If you go to 20.1, uh, it starts calculating uh, the tenth. So if you want to stop, let's say, at a, let's do five, all right? So you want to stop at a five, you're going to wait until it's five and press the button. Okay, so now you're doing the tenth or the hundredth, I mean. Let's do a seven. And there's, then the last digit, let's do 11. There you go. So we have now adjusted it to... Um, 1,175, which would be, I think, is like 17% off or something like that. I mean, you have to do the math. But this is really cool. I'm going to do the math on my car once I measure uh, what the actual consumption is. And I'll report back, see if it works as advertised. I have done this on my Mini Cooper, and it works great. Uh, I'm much happier, so I know exactly how much fuel I have in my tank and how long I can use it for. So I think that's pretty much it for the hidden menu. Hope you guys really found it interesting and useful. Uh, if you have, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll be making a lot more videos about uh, the Z4, the 550 over there, and maybe some other cars as well. So I almost forgot, menu 21 is actually the software reset. Uh, this would be the same as unplugging the battery. So that's very useful if you don't want to go in the back of the trunk, uh, you know, pull out all those carpets and have to undo the battery. This will do the same thing. It will reset whatever the battery reset does. So mostly software stuff.